Hello and welcome to another Vaggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. We are getting through some reviews these days, aren't we? Hey, I'm enjoying it, I've got to admit. So, today I went down to uh, Lincoln Green Brewery, based in Hucknall, Nottingham. It's not far away from me, about two or three miles, four miles, I don't know, something like that. Uh, my local shop's around the corner. Um, not local, but my, the Iceland that we always go to. And today, um, I got a beer haul from there, so you may have seen the video, loads of, loads of bargain beers. It's about 30 quid, and uh, my beer, my, the cost, I, I must be keeping businesses going by myself. But anyway, to the serious point, um, they were selling draft beer, two quid a pint, but you've got to bring your own container. And I, I hadn't got one of them, like, firkin things, whatever you call them, beer containers. And I really only wanted a pint. Two quid a pint, yeah, it's not, a deep, it's not a, an, an expensive price. But I only wanted one pint for review purposes. So, I've got three, three pints, and this is one of them. Because um, there's three beers, obviously. And this is, I'll have to double check on it, it's Espressive. And it's a 4.5% coffee stout. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So, today, my God, today's gone fast. And fair play to the bloke, he's poured me more than a pint out, which is, you know, I'm happy for. I mean, I was going to put a black marker pen around my uh, vessel, but the black marker pen died on me. So that's, that top of that is a pint, but he's done a bit more, so fair play to him. You know, it's, uh, they don't want to be chucking it, do they? They're only chucking good beer away. Sacrilegious. Sacra blur. And, uh, cheers. So, quite dark in colour. Not, not quite black, but not far off. On the nose. Lovely coffee on the nose. Oh. You know them beers, there's certain beers that tick your box and you, you want to be drinking them. And when you smell them in the aroma, you think, oh, that's nice. This is one of them. And I've already just, I've just done one of their beers, uh, uh, Dam, Dams and Porter. And that was absolutely unbelievable. So here we go. Nice coffee on the taste, and I get that espresso where they come out with the the name is espresso, isn't it? Espressive. I get that because the, the when you have an espresso, some of the flavours from that are translating into this um, beer, and very nicely too. I don't mind saying. So today was supposed to be miserable, so we didn't put the octob on because I thought, wow, it's going to be miserable, not bother. And bloody sun's been out all day. Typical, isn't it? Bloody weather forecast. I never get it right. Certainly BBC weather. I don't know what to play in it. Ugh. So, I've got to say, that's quite a nice coffee stout. You don't come across many actual coffee stouts. Nosy bums come in to have a, have a nose at what I'm doing. I, Charlie the Cocker Spaniel. He's so nosy. <laughs> Sees me talking to the thing, he's like, What's, what's that doing? What are you doing, Dad? Are you being weird? <laughs> yeah. I makes you wonder what he thinks about his thinking. I'm sure my dad's gone funny. Yeah. He's standing there talking to himself in the shed. Weirdo. Yeah. So, I'm sitting on the computer upstairs, and I felt a bit warm, and I thought, oh, God, don't tell me I'm coming down. Because you don't, you know, with all these symptoms, uh, this COVID, you don't know if you're coming down with it. And I was in the shop earlier, and bugger me, all of a sudden, I've got the urge to cough, and I'm thinking, for fuck's sake, so start coughing now. Because one, everyone gives you the look of death. 
and uh, and I've just checked my temperature. Nothing wrong. My temperature's fine. So it's just obviously I've come across a hot flush or something. It's probably all the beer I had the last uh, four weeks. Wow, I've drank some. But anyhow, uh, keeping the reviews going, keeping us uh, um, entertained in a certain way, I presume. In a certain way. I don't know if it's a good way, but it's a certain way. At least I'm sober today. And, uh, that's a good thing. Always a good thing when you're sober. So a nice, strong coffee taste to it. As we're going down, it starts off quite, not mellow, but it's a nice, it's more of a subtle taste when you first start drinking it. The strong, the more you drink it, the stronger that coffee's becoming, without being too strong. You know, you, it's like when you're drinking a decent uh, cup of coffee. You want that taste of the really good coffee, you know, not, not, not the crap you buy from the cheap shops. But um, you want that, but you don't want it to become too much where it, where it kills your taste buds. This is at that point, it's at that really good, strong coffee taste to it. If anybody's wondering why I've done two Lincoln, Brew, Lincoln Green Brewery uh, reviews on the row, it's because this was poured uh, straight from the cask into the bottle, which you see in a minute to go somewhere, and it's got to be drank the same day. It must be an aircraft. Yeah, it's got to be drank the same day, which is hence why I only bought a pint of each. But uh, obviously I wanted to get the reviews in because these are beers that I don't see in bottles regular. So to get them, to get free, free new reviews in of beers that I've not had before. It's a kiddie in a sweet shop time. I'm, I'm really bad. I mean, I bought some new beers again today. Uh, a nice dark fruits porter that's uh, in bottle, which will be getting reviewed soon, soon. I really do need to stop buying lots and more beers. I've got that many. But then again, I'm doing quite a few reviews, so they are going down. I mean, I'd hate to think how much I spend on beers. It's it's not cheap at the moment. But then again, you imagine going out to a boozer. We go out in town, me and the wife, um, and especially if we go for a meal as well, it's close to 200 quid. So spending 20 or 30 quid a week on booze and not always drinking all that in one week uh, is a good thing, you know, it's, um, I mean, today I picked up some beers from Lincoln Green Brewery, some out-of-date ones, but some that are, this butter much, and it's a butterscotch flavoured beer, and I bloody love it, and you can only get it from the pub normally, uh, or unless you buy like nine litre, uh, bag, uh, five litre bags, five litre bags, that's like nine pints, for 20 quid, I think they sell it for, when they actually sell it, um, and uh, to get it for a pound a bottle, I'm in heaven, I am. I picked four bottles of that up, and then, then they've got Tuck as well, which is their porter. Um, and I picked four bottles of that up as well, or three or four bottles, something like that anyway. So, uh, good days, you know, can't fault it. And uh, in a minute, I, after I've done this review, get the old uh, barbecue one. Went into Iceland today to do the shop. I hate shopping at the moment, it's just just not not a pleasant experience but the funny thing is it's quiet you go in and there's only about four or five people in the shop it's brilliant um certainly not barging around each of us and they had some steak and stilton burgers stilton burgers oh so um i'm gonna get the barbecue cranked up in a bit and uh have a couple of steak and stilton burgers that as well while the sun's out Although I must not drink any more beer until I do my next review. I don't want to, imagine having a blood sample and the bloke turn, and they turn around to you and say, 50% uh, of your blood is actually beer. Do you know that? So anyway, back to the beer. Yeah, that coffee's coming through. Oh, lovely. If you imagine um, Tia Maria liqueur, if you like Tia Maria liqueur, but um, 
and that's ladies and gentlemen of course um, if you like that but want to drink something similar but in a lesser form this could tick your box because it's I'm getting the Tia Maria coffee liqueur vibes without the obviously the strength because Tia Maria is around about 20% I think 18 to 20% and uh, I don't have it with cola and uh, love it as well but can drink it terribly I, I neck it it's so easily drinkable too easy drinkable um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a good sleep as well last night well, five hours and uh, this this reminds me of that so if you like your coffee liqueurs and you like beer then this is well, this will really interest you Now, I don't know if Lincoln Green Brewery do. Um, they've got several beer pubs in around the Nottingham area. Um, for me, I, I, and if I was uh, speaking to the, the boss of Lincoln Green, or if he watches this and wonders why some idiot's talking about his beer, um, I would follow the models that other pubs are doing and using pubs as off licences because you're allowed to, other pubs are doing it and um, certainly it's getting your bottled stuff out to pubs so you can sell it uh, getting people to bring along their own containers so you can pour beer out and one it gets rid of beer that would otherwise maybe go out of date and obviously because there's a factor as well isn't it, you, you've got your pub your staff aren't earning money but then also whilst doing that maybe getting hold of plastic containers and doing some sort of delivery service or some sort of service where like what Castle Rock Brewery are doing they're doing this uh, drive through thing where you you order it, you pay for it online I mean I suppose they have to set up systems to deal with that uh, you order it online and then you drive through um, pick me a delivery up mate and then you come out straight in the boot, bye and they're gone and uh, again, you know, keeping businesses alive is, is critical I mean obviously you know at the moment I'm okay but uh, there was a time when it looked like for me uh, they said um, you might have to go on this fellow thing fellow that's okay but it's, they're not being paid out yet companies are paying it but the government haven't, haven't actually sorted it out properly yet you know obviously it takes time and uh, Obviously, if this turns around to me and says, oh, you're going to have to go on statutory sick pay, I'd say, that's it, I'm gone. I'll go to another job. So obviously, can't afford to not get me full wages. I'll go to another job, do whatever, whatever work needs doing. I mean, if it came to it and I had to, and, and you wouldn't be the only person in the country who's doing this. Not everyone can self-isolate who's got this. If you can work on your own and cover yourself up with a mask so you're not breathing it out to anybody else if you've got it, gloves on because I'm sure it's only through droplets in your mouth where it comes out and that's how it's how COVID is is spread and then you do that and I don't know how how, how it gets unless you're breathing it in how it gets from coming out of your mouth to you getting into your system unless you get it on your fingers and then you wipe your eyes or you do your mouth I don't know much wonder if you pick your nose it does it as well doesn't it but anyway <clears throat> back to the beer so yeah I, I do think there's breweries up and down the country and I've seen it I've seen it online I follow a lot of breweries obviously being a beer reviewer I'm passionate about um, seeing new beers and uh, what's out there and obviously you, you care for the uh, people who make beers because obviously everyone has to make a livelihood um, so in some form you have to sell your beers and get the money to come in to obviously keep your staff, you know, going, and uh, deliveries, beer deliveries. I think uh, I don't know if Lincoln Green Brewery, this, these people, uh, do beer deliveries. But I'll tell you now, if the systems were set up, I would be doing beer deliveries. I'd be selling, selling it from pub license, uh, as off licences, you know, and then having the brewery shop open as well. Get as many avenues to choose, because. Beer drinkers, but a lot of beer drinkers, 
well, a lot of people don't want to be going to the supermarkets in America because supermarkets is probably the, the, uh, the second level down from hospitals to where you can actually get the virus. So t to get stuff delivered to you, um, or to go to the shop where, you, where you're quite a few, you, where there's only one or two of you in the shop at any one time, to me is a safer way of getting that beer. Don't we all need beer? I know I do. Right, let's drink the rest of this. Me pint. Said to the wife, I've got to do three reviews today. Three pints. What, are you drinking three pints today? I, fucking hell. I can drink ten pints in a day. Stop stressing. If only it's you know. She watches the sugar me good hiding. <clears throat> and I do have to remember that people watch this who know me so I have to be careful sometimes what I say especially if I'm slagging people off and I've uh, got my granddad uh, glass you know that's him my little grandson um, nearly a month now see him on on obviously a, a, on a, a tablet screen you know we've got an Echo Amazon Echo show but there's nothing like seeing him face to face and getting a cuddle you know it is um it is hard at times, and it's hard for them as well because kids don't, little babies, little kids don't understand why aren't they coming to see me? You know, they don't understand that there's a what's out there at the moment, and uh, luckily, it's only for a short time. We hope anyway. Right, back to the beer. Oh. So, I had a damson porter earlier. That was an absolute belter of a beer. And I'm being truthfully honest. Um, and this, again, is another barnstormer. And I'm just glad that I went today. I woke up this morning. I'd had um, a couple of bone brews last night. Bad Cat Imperial Red Ale. I was pissed as a newt last night. And I, I needed three litre bottles. So I had some uh, cherry bourbon left in the bottle. And I thought, well, I need the bottle. So um, I drank the cherry bourbon as well. I woke up this morning, rough as they come, and I thought, oh dear. I thought, I can't be, uh, I can't be going to anywhere near anywhere that sells beer today. I can't do it. But luckily, by about 11, half 11, uh, I was fine then. You know, I was fine by about 10 o'clock, to be fair. And uh, so we went up there, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad I did. I'm glad I didn't miss out on these beers. Uh, when I seen um, the man who does the Lincoln Green Brewery videos uh, on Facebook uh, say about coming down and getting yourself, uh, um, yeah, bring, bring, it, bring a container and come down. And I asked, uh, do you, are you all right with bringing him one, you know, any, any old container down, as long as it's washed out and that. And no one replied, and I thought, oh, bugger. And I went down there, and I says, are you able to fill these? And uh, they said, yeah, and I thought, great. I mean, for me, if, if it was me, a sale's a sale, you know. Um, if you can... Every bit of cash, when you need it, is a good thing. It's like me, I do, I do, I hate doing private work, gardening. But to bring that extra little bit of cash in, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing especially in these times and uh, I've listened to people in the queue uh, at Morrison's today when we went to Morrison's and uh, 19 minutes my god right better crack on so near black in colour obviously it was poured hours ago so you don't get the true head on that you would have you would have expected from from a pub pour um, near black, it's, it's, it's just not, not quite black, but near black. Coffee on the nose, coffee on the taste. I did get that espresso uh, aroma and taste as well. And gotta say, an absolute beautiful pint. It's been a pleasure drinking it. It took me a few minutes to drink it because I had a slightly more than a pint. And at 4.5%, yes, it hits you quite nicely. And uh, a very decent pint. And another great pint by Lincoln Brewery. Um, so, 
critical. Yeah, I can't fault it. Really nice. I'd love to see um, plum stouts and things like that. I mean, I did say to the woman on the counter today about doing a, if you can do a plum porter, you know, hopefully they will. Um, and they were telling me a bit of this, the history about the butter much, which I'll divulge. Well, not divulge, but I'll tell you about when um, I review butter much. But yeah, great. Um, out of five, again, bloody brilliant beer. 4.5 out of five. Hit the spot, really hit the spot. Good strength, good aroma, good taste. And uh, great price too. Two quid. Whew. Not bad at all. And you can't get it in bottles either. So there's, you know, that's something great. Made me smile. No, anyway, 4.5 I did say, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, see you soon. And stay safe, of course. Cheers.